hi guys hope you guys are doing good we're back with another video and today uh before i start i'd like to thank everybody who has subscribed to our channel uh if you are new here don't forget to hit the subscribe button and i know there are a lot of people <laughs> who you know frequently visit this channel but they do not subscribe so before we go anywhere just click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell icon to be the first to watch when we upload any new content now today what we're going to be talking about we're going to be talking about the importance of you know catching market bottoms or market tops and bottoms and how that can change your trading if you do it the right way all right so before we start uh if you have subscribed to our telegram channel right uh you were actually able to see this markup that i said this is a markup on the british pound index right for those who use trading view you can find this on you can find this as bxy right just type in bxy and we'll be able to see this so now this was my analysis all right on this uh currency index now why do i analyze uh bxy this is basically your currency index so if you're able to get a directional bias right on your currency index like this in this case this is your british uh pound currency rather index right so if you can get your directional bias from this currency pay not a currency pay index sorry about that guys from this currency index then it would be easier for you to then get an idea of how you can then approach your pound pays right i hope you guys got that right it will make it easier for you to trade pound pays i know there's a lot of people who have subscribed to this channel who love trading pound pays actually there's people who trade pound pays only right so this was my analysis and this was just based on market structure clear market structure and of course order flow uh trading all right so now as we can see look at how this played out this actually played out to the t right this actually played out to the t you can see it actually reached the target that i was interested in at that point right when i mark up right when once price reaches my target right then i reevaluate right i reevaluate all right because so, i'm only looking for specific um setups right so now <clears throat> as you can see if we go to the h4 this also made sense in your h4 time frame because what we have right here is the following right if you can just allow me to zoom in this is what we have we can clearly see how price was reacting at these order blocks right how price was reacting at those order blocks right i'm more interested in these order blocks because this is where i know we'll find much uh, movements in the market right i'm only interested in trading in line with the big boys those are your institutions all right so not really uh, interested in the noise okay so what we're going to do before we start i'm going to explain the importance of market bottoms right so in this case if we are looking at a scenario where uh, we are moving in an uptrend all right moving in an uptrend moving in an uptrend all right in this case we've got an uptrend up phase right and these are your structures right your structures are very important structures are very very important guys right that's something that is important for me before i start doing anything on the chart right so once these structures are in place right let's say this is where you've got your this is where for those people who trade btmm this is where the mnw comes from right what we're gonna have is right we have the first leg right first leg right and on this first leg what i'm uh, interested in is i want to see momentum right so this area right here i need to see momentum right i need to see momentum away from it of course i'm just showing you a drawing on structure but there has to be some supply level right to the left right remember we work with the left right? so in this case let's see we have a supply level at this area right now what we're going to wait for in this case we'll wait uh you know for structures to confirm right for structure once structure confirms right we will only be interested in catching the tops right and bottoms in this case which area will you be interested in you must be interested in this area right here right you must be interested in this area here now this requires patience because some people uh you know scalpers you find people scalp in the market and you know most of them end up uh giving up or blowing an account anyways Right, so what most people will do is you'll find a lot of people they will be selling right, along the way you find people selling i right, find people selling there uh find people selling there you find people selling there and that is all caused by formal right fear of missing out there's people who just have that fear of missing out right now when it comes to mastering uh, uh you know 
catching these uh, tops and bottoms, right? It will give you a very good risk reward, right? And you'll be able to know when you're wrong, right? And you'll also be comfortable with calculating your risk. So what we have right here is, since we have an area, we have identified the momentum, right? What we're going to be interested in, we'd want to see price get back to the area. Right? We want to see price get back to the area. Now, what will happen most of the time is, as market is moving down, maybe we have this type of structure, or a resistance area here what will happen is most of the times this area will get hit 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 but the only area that we are interested in here is this area right guys this is the area we're interested in right so it won't be just easy as it seems right on a drawing when it comes to the charts there's a lot of manipulation now what will happen after this is right as this area right here will get tested most people are selling right there you know retail traders will trade supports and resistance most people are selling right there and you know what's happening there's build ups of stops right we've got stop losses right above that area we've got stop losses here we've got stop losses here now, there's a bunch of people right there who are selling and they've got their stops right there thinking they're right right but the only area we're interested in is the top right we're interested in the extremes right we are interested in the extremes and what will happen most of the time is price can even move to the downside and then all of a sudden you'll see a big candle to the upside and then down we go right so what is the advantage of catching these tops right or bottoms in this case we're talking about a top right the advantage is if you now have these structures in place right you already identified these structures you can already see we've got a change in structure right there right what you can now do is it will be easier for you right to enter at that area and have your stop just above the area right have your stop just above the zone and you'll have very good targets right giving you a very good risk to reward right but now it will require patience for you to wait for these types of trades right it's not easy as it seems there's a lot of other factors uh, that you have to focus on right so uh, let us go to the charts right and see what we have on the charts now what we are looking at right now uh, is your pound USD and we're going to analyze it we're going to analyze uh, how structure moved from this right so the first thing we can all see that price is coming from a supply area right and because of that we've got price breaking structure right a nice break of structure right there and then after that we can see that the area Right, the area that we had momentum was this area right here. Right, we can all see that. Right now, why am I choosing this area? Because price was already coming from supply. If we go to the daily, it will be easy for you to understand why. Right, I would not wait for price to come here. Right, because already in your daily time frame, right, this was already a nice uh, trap move right there. Right, a nice. We can call it a multi-month. Uh, M formation for those people who trade BTMM, right? But now we are focusing on the H4 time frame. So from the H4 time frame, we've identified the momentum and we can see that this is the area, right, where price is reacting to, right? And we are only interested in catching these tops and bottoms, right? In this case, we are interested in the tops because we are moving to the downside, right? And as you can see, this is what we had. How was it going to be easy for you to trade this? It was going to be easy for you to trade this because you've now understood the movement on your uh, BXY, right? Which is your British Pounds Currency Index, right? It would be easy for you to understand that. So what do we have? Remember, the structure responsible for breaking structure right is the one that you will focus on so in this case we can already see our prices move down look at that we had this area right we had this area right because of this we can see the momentum away we have broken the structure all right after breaking the structure we've got price coming back now this is where you need to be very good at managing your risk right and also do not make uh, your stop loss that tight right you need to give it room because instances like this will happen a lot of times where price might just you know go above your area of interest a bit right and move to the downside but for this one it would be easier because we had this uh hidden area right here so it would be easy for you to have a nice stop just above that area and the risk to reward on that was amazing now why do we like trading these stocks because the price will move very well 
uh, away from these areas right we were fast moves away from that area comes back to the same thing if you had missed this move what do you see we've got a nice drop base drop and we've got our order block right here and then there we go price manages to come back to the area so that would mean you would be interested in going short and having your stop just above the area and as you can see of course by looking to the left you'll be able to pick out a very good uh, structure level right there right you'll be able to pick out a very good structure level so if you were gonna go short there already I'd be keeping an eye on this area right here right and I'll also be keeping an eye on this area and as you can see the risk to reward on this would be amazing right that's the important thing about trading these order blocks right if you can understand your structure and of course be very selective right that's the only um, reason why right we focus on these right so we can go check out some other pairs of course these pairs uh, would be very similar comes back down to this uh, pound yen right look at what we have right we've got a structure level being created right? a nice order block right there right we've got price moving to the downside breaking structures right breaking structures you can see that's a lower low right there right and then after that price comes back to the area right this is called your order matching process right this is where your unfilled orders will get filled right and the key word here is um, momentum so what do we have if you are going to take a trade here let it be at that area because it allows you to have a good risk to reward and as you can see we move to the downside now when you have missed the trade does this mean go short there or try go short there no be patient and wait for price to play out now look at what happens price returns to another order block and guess what right if you are dealing from these highs you'd be able to get a very good entry point and as you can see price makes it to this area right so you would have your stop above and you still be able to make very good profit right now as prices move down let's focus more on recent price action right this was a nice price area right there what did we have a nice move away was it going to make sense for you to sell there no right because look at that you are probably going to get stopped out right or uh, get your account blown out right and look at what happens right price then returns to that high or top and then you can have a very good risk to reward ratio from that area look at how price then moved away from that right so the the the, 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 the advantage of trading such right will allow you to have very good risk to reward and you can easily double an account right within one or two trades right if you're managing your risk well and if you know what you are doing right but at the end of the day i'll always repeat the same thing right it comes down to being selective right it all comes down to being selective look at what we have right here a nice order block that we had right there instead of trying to sell there right if you had the patience to wait for price to come back there look at that you had a nice risk to reward trade right there and look at how price moved away you don't have to wait a, lo a long time right or sit through such manipulations and useless trades look at that after price broke structure price comes back to the high and you deal right you deal from there all right so uh as i said it all comes down uh to being selective guys it's not just every pair that you are going to trade right like as i said if you guys joined my telegram channel right i did mention last week that i don't really focus on a lot of pairs right i do uh you know have a nice outlook on the market but i will not trade everything right i'll not trade everything um on the market right i'll be very selective when it comes to that here's your usd and the same thing that we are talking about look at that we've got a nice order block price break structure comes back to the area you've got a nice area to deal from and guess what you had a very nice trade look at how price moved um away from that right price moved away from that for like 400 pips if you know what you are doing now it doesn't it's not that easy right? there's a lot of other things um that you need to consider right but this is a nice